Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I just got back from New York City. I flew over to New York for the week to visit my family and catch up with friends. But one of my highlights from my trip was absolutely my time in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So without further ado, I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that you need to do in Williamsburg. Number one, you have to check into the Hoxton Hotel. The Hoxton Williamsburg has been open for a little bit over a year now and it's such a cool and quirky hotel. I love the Hoxton. Honestly, like I, when I first moved to London, I spent most of my time at the Hoxton in Shoreditch. I've been to the Hoxton in Holborn, and there's also one in Southwark now. And I'm pretty sure that the Hoxton Williamsburg is the first Hoxton on North America. So they have Chicago coming soon, where it's just open, Portland, and I wanna say LA is opening as well. So the Hoxton has 175 bedrooms, three restaurants, including an amazing rooftop that was unfortunately closed because it was winter time, and a cool little area where tons of people can spend the day to work. Uh, that's like what I used to do in Shoreditch and just like post up with my laptop. It's a great spot. They have like lots of comfy couches in the lobby and all of that. So definitely, definitely check that place out. Even if you just go for like brunch at one of their restaurants or get a drink, definitely go there. So number two is eat the best pasta outside of Italy that you have ever had. I'm not kidding. Do yourself a favor and book into Lilia's immediately. It is absolutely incredible. So I'm a bit of an Italian food snob after living in Italy for a year and I have to say that the pasta that I had at Lilia's was like to die for. I'm, oh my God, I'm just thinking about it. My mouth is watering. Mm, so good. So I ordered the sheep's milk filled agnolotti, I think that's how you say it, and it was covered with saffron, dried tomato, and honey. It was divine. I never use that word to describe food, but honestly, there's not another word to describe this meal other than divine. We started the meal with their house-made mozzarella that is made daily for service, and it's served on toasted garlic bread and topped with lemon zest and shaved botarga, which is fish egg. We also had the roasted trumpet mushrooms served with arugula, balsamic, and slivered almonds. And then for dessert, we had their special, which is called the Italian job. It was fresh, soft served gelato, which I have never had. We had it in the flavor of vanilla, and it was covered in all kinds of goodness, like honey. And there were some other toppings, but I can't remember because I fell into a food coma shortly afterwards. They have an extensive wine list where all of their wine is from Italy. It's definitely not cheap, but the service is incredible and the food was insane. So I definitely would keep an eye on bookings. They generally open a month in advance, so make sure to get yourself in there. I'm not kidding, you have to go. It was so, so good. So number three is take a stroll through Domino Park. Walking around Williamsburg is great. There's so much going on at all times and Domino Park is a fairly new addition. It's a really cool park located right next to the East River and it overlooks the Williamsburg Bridge. So aside from incredible views year round, I imagine this place really comes to life in the spring and the summertime because there's a taco stand where has, they have like a great little sitting area with like twinkle lights everywhere. There are lounge chairs, like actual lounge chairs, suntan on, a volleyball court, a bocce court, a dog park, and a like little playground for the kids, which looked like a really cool playground and I kind of wanted to go on it, but I didn't. I was stopped uh, by my boyfriend, so maybe next time. It was obviously a little bit too cold to enjoy it in the winter time in early January, but just walking by during sunset was so nice. I mean, the light over behind the Williamsburg Bridge is prime time at that hour. So number four is head up to Westlight at the William Vale Hotel. So if you're looking for a place to get food or drinks with a rooftop that is open year round, the Westlight at William Vale is a great place to go. I wanna say that it's the tallest rooftop in Williamsburg. I know that the Williamsburg Hotel has opened a like water tank bar, but I don't think that that's higher up. It's open year round, it's a little bit pricey, and it's a little bit touristy, but if you think about what you pay to go to places like Top of the Rock or like One World Trade, I mean, it's really not that bad to pay for a drink. And it's a really beautiful view. You get the whole New York skyline from Williamsburg. So it's it's kind of stunning, especially at night when it first lights up. I imagine at sunset it is really, really busy, but it might be worth trying to get in there. 
Not sure if they take booking. Number five is explore like a local. The thing that I love about Williamsburg is that it is such a cool local spot. If I ever move back to New York, that's where I would live. There's no doubt in my mind that that's where I would go to live. They have the Brooklyn Brewery, Brooklyn Bowl. They have tons of independent boutiques and the Brooklyn Flea Market. They've got great little dive bars. And honestly, if you just wander around, like you're bound to be able to fill an afternoon. And number six, so this is a bit of a bonus because unfortunately I don't have any footage to show you of this because it only happens in the summertime. But if you are in Williamsburg during the spring or summer, you have to go to Smorgasburg. I don't know if you've ever heard of Smorgasburg, but it's basically this street fair that happens every Saturday between April and I wanna say late September. And there is so much food. It's at the park. If you get off the subway at Bedford Avenue and just walk towards the water on 7th Avenue, you'll come to the park. I can't remember what the park's name is right now, but it's every Saturday, it's free to enter, and you just pay for the food that you want to get and eat. My favorite is lobster rolls, the gigantic ice cream sandwiches, a ramen burger. I don't know if they still do those. those was like, that was like years ago when I went for the first time. But yeah, so it's so much fun. It's a great way to spend the day. It gets really, really crowded. So you'll definitely be waiting in a long queue for food, but it's totally worth it. And again, like that skyline is right there. So it's really, really cool to go to and see and eat all of the delicious things. And in the winter, they actually do us like a par down version at the Brooklyn Flea Market. So you could kind of go and experience some of the vendors inside of Brooklyn Flea on Saturday. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. That is all I have for you. And I really hope that you end up going to Williamsburg and using some of these tips. If you've been there before and you have any other tips, please leave them below in the comments. And if you like what you saw, as always, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment and I will see you guys soon. Bye.